There should have been no way I could have beat him doing what I have done. Logan Phillips says he was inspired during the teacher walkout and signed up to run for the House District 24 seat on a whim. He figured he would lose, but begin legwork for a campaign in 2020. His opponent, 10-year incumbent Steve Copeland, the Democratic minority leader. I didn't think I had a chance going against Goliath that he, he could outspend me, outmarket me, and do pretty much anything when it came to money. So it's just me talking to people. Phillips sat at this Glenpool restaurant by himself to watch the results come in on election night. He says even his wife went home early, but the Republicans stayed neck and neck with the incumbent all evening. Uh, but then the uh, polls and stuff actually went down, um, and so they stopped reporting for about 10 minutes, and we were stuck at the last four counties. And I was within losing within half a point, and then they all clicked in at the same time, and I went up and won by 350 votes. Phillips says he spoke with a couple other lawmakers and put a few posts on social media. That was the extent of his campaign. Straight party voting was huge for the Republican Party, and they came out and they wanted the Republicans in, and I was the Republican. And so that accounted for, I think, 50-something percent of my votes. The congressman-elect is a teacher at Tulsa Community College. His father, sister, and stepmother, also educators. The family tells Two Works For You they're excited for new faces at the Capitol. I'm certainly anticipating some great changes that uh, we could go from being the last in something to being the first in something and the first to see a dramatic change uh, toward the betterment of all the people, not just the big businesses of the state. Megan Allison, Two Works For You.